So welcome to Optitronics, and today we'll be taking a look at the Scan SPV2. And right before we get started, I want to give a shout out to 3D Wonders for sending out this test unit to me for evaluation. If you guys are in the market for your next 3D scanner, definitely check out 3D Wonders. I'll leave a link down below. Now, once you receive your Scan SPV2, make sure the ceiling label isn't broken. This is to make sure that you have a brand new unit. Now, in the box, you will receive several accessories. You'll receive a quick start brochure, a turntable, scanner table, scanner head, scanner bracket, USB cables, USB cable B, USB cable A, also a tripod, power adapter, markers, a thumb drive, a calibration holder, along with a calibration board. Now, to set up the iScan SPV2, you'll need a laptop. I'm using a Lenovo Legion laptop. I'll leave the minimum requirements for the scanner up on the screen. Once the laptop is placed, then place the scanner table onto the table. Align the bottom of the turntable to the scanner table and plug in the USB type B plug into the turntable. And then screw on the scanner bracket. Once the bracket is screwed on, attach the end of the USB cable B into the scanning unit. This is to ensure the communication between the turntable and the scanner. The next thing is to insert the USB type A plug and power plug into the scanner unit. Once that is completed, plug in the USB type A into the laptop and the power plug into an outlet. Once the hardware is all set up, we will need to install the program XScan. You can get this program from the website or the thumb drive. I'm going to use the thumb drive and install XScan. When you install XScan, you will go through several prompts about the installation. When you are done, you will have to create an account. Make sure you have an email ready because a verification code will be sent to your email in order to complete the signup. The next thing we'll do is calibration. You should always calibrate a brand new scanner. Place the calibration holder at the center of the turntable and then place the calibration board on top of the holder. Go to the rear of the scanner head and turn on the power. Now, go to your laptop and double click the X scan. Click on calibration tab and start the calibration. Follow the pattern on the left side of the screen. Make sure your calibration board matches the pattern on the left side of the screen. Once that is completed, Click Capture. Let the turntable rotate. Once it's done, you need to rotate the calibration board again. Match the left side of the screen. Click Capture. And again, repeat the previous step and rotate the calibration board. And click Capture. Calibration success. Now, next thing you'll do is a white balance calibration. So for this calibration, just flip the back side of the calibration board to the white part. You can also use white paper too. Click white balance test and let it run. And there you go. Now we will scan our first model. We will scan a camera battery. So I will place it at the center of the turntable. Then open the X scan program. Click on new work and save and name this project in a photo of your choosing. Click on texture scan and apply. And a pop up will appear. Click OK. For this first scan, I'm keeping it basic. I have the HDR turned on along with the turntable. Then select turntable with coded targets. And also at the bottom, turntable step at 16. This is going to be 16 scans. Then the speed should be at 5. I have it on one turn and once that is done, click on the triangle button on the far right to scan. The unit will rotate and scan 16 times. Once this is done, click on work and create a new project with texture scan. Click apply. This will be a second project scan of the battery. I will flip the battery upside down and start the scan again. Once the scan is done, I will again repeat the last step and create a new project with a texture scan under the work tab. Now I will flip the battery flat on the table 
and I will start the scan again. Now for this very last step, I will create a new project with the texture scan under the work tab, flip the battery, and then scan again. And at this point, you should have four scan projects. Once the scans are all complete, click the Align tool on the far right. Now, you could drag any project to the fixed space on the right. I randomly chose Project 2 as my fixed space. Then drag any scan to the floated space on the far, far right. You can left mouse click in the fix and floated space to rotate your model. Then shift left click to plot the dots. You'll have to plot three pair of dots in order to align. Once the third pair of dots is placed, the alignment happens automatically. Once that is done, drag Project 3 to the floater space. This time, I will show you the wrong way to align your dots. As you can see, I aligned all the dots on one side of the object. This is very unbalanced as the program needs to counterbalance the placement. So make sure you have another dot on the opposite side of the object to balance the alignment. Now, once that's done, drag in Project 4 to the floater space and perform the alignment. Now, once the alignment is completed, go to the right side and click Global Optimization. This will align your scans together more accurately. Now, the next thing we will do is fuse all scans together to create one model. At the bottom right, click on Mesh Model and click on Watertight Model and High Detail. Once that's done, you'll get a prompt saying if texture color isn't correct, please do texture remapping. So I'm just going to do texture remapping just to show you guys how to do it. You just click on texture remapping at the bottom right if you have any issues with your texture. So I click OK, let the texture mapping happen, and voila. My camera battery is fused together with the texture map. And here is what it looks like without the texture. Now here's another way to align your scan faster this time. Now we're going to drag Project 4 into the fixed space and then Project 3 to the floated space. And we'll go over to the left and click this button call feature. This is essentially an auto alignment tool. Now, once that's completed, definitely check the alignment at the bottom of the screen. And once that's done, I'm going to drag Project 1 into the floated space, and I'll click the Feature button again for auto alignment. And once that is completed, I'll just click Complete. And I'm only using three scans this time, three projects. Now, click on Global Optimization. This will align your scans even more tighter, and click Confirm. Once that's completed, go to Mesh Model at the bottom, Watertight, and High Detail. And here is your model with your texture on. And here is the model without any texture. And as you can see, definitely the auto alignment, the feature button, does a pretty good job. So definitely try out this feature when you're auto aligning your scans. And once you're satisfied with the feature on your scans, what you want to do is export your model. Click on export your scan on the top right under the folder and click on save mesh locally. And at the bottom, you could select your OBJ, STL, POI and save it in a folder where you want all your scans and textures to be exported to and I clicked save, it's saving, and then here is all the texture and models. So now that we are done with our first ever scan with the Ionscan SPV2 on the scanner stand, in my next video, we'll definitely do another scan with the tripod. So definitely stay tuned for that. Until then, thank you guys for checking me back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely click like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.